The doll in this video is not a toy and is detailed in a way that makes it inappropriate for children. Hello everyone! Today we have quite a large box. This should be my Bobobi slash Resensel Yao. I liked her from the Resin Soul website, which was one of the first BJD websites I ventured onto when I first decided that I wanted to get into BJDs, but I just wasn't sure and I never ended up getting her. And then this little lady popped up on eBay about a week ago. It was really weird actually last week from when I was filming this. It'll have been about a month ago by the time any of you see it. But it was just the weirdest thing. There were like three resin soul or Bobobi yells that popped up within a week of each other. I have no idea what was up. It was like National Sell Your Seder Doll Day. So, oh wow, she's like taped into the box. I've never seen this before. But it looks quite secure, so I'm happy for that. This one is uh, Bobobi. There's really the, not much difference. I don't remember exactly um, what the relationship is between Bobobi and Resin Soul, but they have several sculpts in common. I don't know why it says Moon on it. Maybe that was the name the previous owner had for the doll. Um, Junkie Spot is a dealer that has several different doll companies in stock. It's a similar idea to Alice's Collections or Denver Doll. It's always been a little confusing to me that this sculpt has uh, breasts, so it's typically that would signal that the doll is intended to represent a female character, but then there's also horns. And this is a business card for the junkie spot. So here's this little, I always call them body bags, but I think other people call them sleeping bags. I think this is the standard bag that the Bobby dolls at least used to come in. I'm not sure if they still do. Oh wow, she's so delicate. Oh beautiful. Everything snaps into place. Oh man, this is nice. I really like the size of her hooves. She might need some additional stability in the in these joints eventually wow she's beautiful and she's got little pointed nails let's take a look at her face this looks like the company face-ups I've seen from Bobobi and resin soul, so this might be the one she came with. I don't know, I feel like this head, ooh, what, what was that? Oh, that did not sound good at all. Okay, so it looks like nothing's broken. I think her little neck hook was just not in completely. 
I do feel like this head looks a little... What? What was that? Oh my gosh, that startled me so bad. Okay, okay. This is the hold. <laughs> this is the hold the magnets in, and apparently they are very strong. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to get these magnets apart now. I'm beginning to think super glue might be in order. I think I'm just going to put the head backpack on and just be done with it for now. But when the magnets are in place, the little horns can go on and all is well with the world. All right, so we got really nice mobility here in this chest joint. When it comes to moving forward, backward, not so much, but we do have a little bit. And then the hip joint is a little awkward, but if she was fully clothed, I can see how it wouldn't be too distracting. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, I'm never getting these apart. Okay. We're just not going to worry about the horns for now. The hip joint does not have a rotational joint, but it does look like she will be able to sit and look quite natural. And she is double jointed in the arms, but this little part is so thick that it does limit what you might expect a double jointed arm to be able to do. I think I'm finally going to have to learn how to suede a doll. And I'm sure wiring would also help. I really like the aesthetics of this body. I think it looks quite nice. I'm especially fond of the hooves, I already mentioned those. Um, I think, depending on if I can coax her arms to be a little more compliant, I think this body is going to be a keeper. Um, I might try out some of the other heads I have around that don't have bodies yet and see if I like having a different head on this body. And if I do decide to do that, then this head with the horns should be going up for sale. So if you're interested in that, you can drop me a comment or check out my eBay shop, which is linked below, and just see if the head is available for sale. If you want to see more of this doll, be sure to keep an eye on my channel. I will be doing a body comparison with other one quarter scale doll bodies with posability and, you know, aesthetics. I also plan to paint her, maybe some tattoos and either blush her lower half or perhaps even dye it. So hang around and see what else happens with this lady. If you enjoyed this video specifically, please leave a like and a comment. This helps out both of us because it helps YouTube suggest content to you more accurately if you engage with the videos you like. And it also helps out my channel because it shows YouTube that people are willing to engage with my content. If you want to see more of my content specifically, you can of course subscribe. And I also have a Facebook group linked below. Anyone 13 years of age or older is welcome to join. And I just post there whenever I put a video up on YouTube. If you want to support my channel financially, you can do so on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. That gets you access to all my content one to two weeks early. And as soon as we reach our first support goal, which we're two thirds of the way there already, I will begin giving away one doll every single month to a patron. So be sure to check that out and see if that's something you might be interested in. Those who support me on my on the fairy godparent tier on Patreon also get, in addition to what I just mentioned, a sticker shipped to them every month of one of my dolls and a shout out in every single video I make. So shout out to Road to Eret Fan and my anonymous fairy godparents. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.